often people can become a little bit more daring when they're working in acrylics. My sort of painting is trying to get away from neat and tidy and create pieces of work that are sort of more expressive. Be creative with your brush mark. During the course of uh, this film, we're going to talk about the, uh, one of the most versatile mediums um, for the artist, basically. Um, for me, as uh, a painter who exclusively worked in um, water-based, transparent water media, um, coming to acrylics was such a revelation. Whether you are a, an accomplished artist or whether you are uh, new to painting, um, acrylic basically gives you the widest range of techniques um, it, and it's a medium that uh, is such a forgiving medium um, and it allows you to make mistakes and rectify them. So during the course of uh, this film, we're going to cover a whole range of different techniques uh, available with acrylics. One of the best things about acrylic is that there are no rules or restrictions. So you can start with thinner washes of color building up to the more textured areas or vice versa. Success of a painting um, depends on many things. One of them being that um, finish to the, and the surface quality of the painting. Um, sometimes, um, I fall in love with paintings that I have no interest in the subject matter, but I, I love the um, brush marks or the way um, the paint has been used um, by the artist. If you use the acrylic in its various strengths, and um, i.e. slightly more transparent in some areas and slightly thicker in another, you create more interest um, on the surface of the painting. It's that balance between all these different things that eventually um, contribute to the success of the painting. So whether you are a newcomer to acrylics or trying to improve your, uh, your acrylic painting, I hope that this film has been helpful for you.